Hi, my name is Edward Chua and I'm the fashion photographer based in Sydney, Australia. E-commerce or e-com photography is about producing commercially viable imagery to sell products online. So today I'm going to demonstrate three commercial lighting setup using Godox parabolic reflectors. So don't forget to like and subscribe to Godox YouTube channel for more tutorials and wait until the end for product giveaway. And now let's get started. For the first setup with just one light, we are using a parabolic 158. One of many great things about the 158 is the light can reflect and consistently reach across the body. First, we measuring the light output to make sure we reach the f-stop that we are aim for. Next, we correcting the white balance by using a grey card. There are 10 steps on the focusing rod. For this setup, I adjust the focusing rod to step number 5, which give a nice balance between the softness and contrast level, especially for this front lighting. Amazing! So nice! Nice! It's important to communicate with your team and model before and during the shoot to give them an idea what we are shooting and what looks we are aiming for. For example, here we're aiming for three images, front, side and back. The makeup and hair are natural in front and back poses but has more movement in the side shot. In the scale from 0 to 10 on the focusing rod, 10 will produce more punchy light resulting in more contrast whereas 0 will give a soft light. By moving the rod in and out, the light quality will change between soft and hard. For example here, using step number 5 will give a nice balance between softness and contrast level, especially for front lighting. As you can see here, the lighting is soft but still bring out the texture of the fabric. After the shoot, I review if we have the shots we need before moving on. It's also a good opportunity to give feedback to the team for future improvements. In this second lighting setup, I'm using two lights and I aim to shoot three quarters of the body where the dress ends just above the model knees with a focus on movement and fun with a pop of colors in the makeup. For the field light using Para 158, I aim for f3.2 with the same focusing step number which is number 5 but I use a D1 diffuser to soften even more of the light. Then I use Para 128 with the focusing step number 2 and light from 45 degree angle from the side to give more definition of the dress and the model. This is going to be my main light without a diffuser because the light is already soft and nice. The light's output measure is f7.1 here. With two lights together, they make f8 overall which is exactly what I aim for. After testing the light, I add a whiteboard to the model's right to bounce back the light from the Para 128 to lighten up the shadow. I think one of the key advantages of Godox's parabolic focusing system is that you can customize lighting recipe based on the raw scale. Different scale can result in the different lighting that you can use for different kind of products. Secondly, it can produce a unique lighting quality. For example, it's micro contrast and fabric texture here. Using step number 2 will give a softer light. However, by moving the light to the side, it creates contrast. 
Altogether, it will result in the soft contrast on the fabric. You can see it in the detail on the dress here. To give a sense of movement in the images, I tell the model to keep moving. We also use more direct wind to the hair to give it more volume and movement. For the last setup, it's classic beauty setup called clamshell. We are using three light to show the beauty of the skin, makeup and hair product to complement the look. To begin with, I use the bare bulb to reflect the light from the whiteboards to give a good feel like measure at f5.6. Then, using Para 88 with D1 diffuser, focusing step number 1 measure at F7.1, I use this as my top light. The bottom light is Para 128 with D1 diffuser, focusing step number 4.5 measure at F7.1 as well. After that, a black side of the reflector is used to cover up the top part of the Para 128 together with two blackboards for both sides of the model for more subtle contrast, contouring the face. On a commercial shoot, there will be a brief to show the vision and direction of the shoot. We begin with the lighter lip colors and hair tie up for testing. However, if the briefs say darker makeup and hair should have more volume, the photographer needs to discuss with the hair and makeup artist to follow the creative direction of the client, for example here. Um, Lachlan, is that okay to make it darker? We also test out what angle works best with different poses and slight movements. Finally, we end up with these two images. One image focuses on the hair and the other is about the makeup and the lip. And that's it for today guys and I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. Um, thanks for tuning in and please be sure to like and subscribe. Go to our YouTube channel for more tutorial and I'll see you next time.